Thank you for hanging out with me today. This is KJ48, and welcome back to Escape the Pacific. And we've got the raft where we want it to be as far as being built up. Um, I would like to continue building up the floor today. I don't know how many palm fronds are going to be on this island, and I'm going to be honest with you guys, I don't want to leave this island like today. Um, I'd like to find some more palm fronds, so I'm hoping we can because we got to build some more of the floor up here. Um, but before we do that, I am going to start. Basically, I want to bring food and water with me. All right. Now, it's not that simple. Because <laughs> we have to worry about vitamin C. We have to worry about salt. We have to worry about food diversity. So, yeah, it's um, it's not as simple as it might sound. But first things first, let's go ahead and get a fire down. Now, this is a special campfire that is made to be inside on a, on a raft floor. Uh, crafting equipment. No, it's under tools. There we go. Indoor campfire. And it, you can see right there, it looks like it's got something on the bottom of it. That's sand. So I think the idea is you put the sand down and you build the fire on top of it. Would that work in real life? I don't freaking know. Um, I'm not going to worry about it because there it is. And I was like, well, how do I get sand? Well, I figured out how to get sand. So what you do is you just take some kind of, you know, uh, some kind of, uh, I don't know, container, I guess. And then you look down. It's that simple. You know, I didn't think it was going to be that simple. I'm kind of surprised I didn't think of it. But, you know, there's not a lot of simple things in this game. So, you know, that surprised me. All right, and then we're going to go ahead and put some more sand in there. And then we're going to grab some more sand. We're going to build the fire. I would like to... I'm probably going to build another drying rack or bring the drying rack in here. I guess I'm just going to bring the drying rack in here that I've already got built. There's no point in having multiple drying racks on each island um, because I'm not going to need them, right? I'm also not going to need uh, multiple fires on each island anymore. This is going to be great. This means when I go to islands, there's going to be less less I have to do to prepare. You know, I go to an island and I just get the resources I want. And we leave the island because right now, when I go to an island, I have to make two of these things and I have to make uh, you know the drying rack and I got to make the stupid fire and it just get, it gets to be a bit much. Um, so this is going to be really nice to be able to carry my food with me. All right, there we go. And I can't put that away because I guess it's not empty. Can we just pour it out. Uh, yes, we can. There we go. Now put it away. What else do we need for this? Uh, small carving rocks and fire sticks. Okay, that doesn't sound too bad. I think I can. I think I can scrounge that stuff up. Let's go on over here. Um, fire sticks. This will go into fire sticks. Okay. And we're also going to need those carving rocks. And you hit those with a with a hammer. Um, I don't see any carving rocks around here. I know I had one, but I think I broke most of them up. What's that? That looks like a coconut. All right, I I'm pretty sure there's more carving rocks around here. I just gotta, I just gotta find them. Um, so let me see if I can find one. I, I remember seeing quite a few on this island. All right, so we just need three of these. So just gotta break this thing up. I, I did find this pretty easily. Uh, there's also a banana tree. Uh, the banana tree's got young bananas on it. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to eat them when they're young or am I supposed to wait? I don't know. I might just eat them when they're young. I don't think I really care that much. We're gonna put these in our bags, in our singular, our bag. And now we're tired. Let's see how tired we are. Yeah, so we're tired, which is fine because it's going to be nighttime soon. I'd like to sleep through most of the night. There is a weight feature, but the weight feature is extremely slow. Like, it's really not much of a weight feature, to be perfectly honest with you guys. Uh, it just takes forever. <laughs> you sit on your weight, but it, it just, it's not that much faster. So I would like to sleep as much as possible. All right, so I actually have to be holding this stuff. So let's do that. One, two, and three. I only have three fire sticks. Why would I only get three fire sticks if I need four? That's messed up, bro. That's messed up. Uh, some people are saying, aren't your sails going to be going through the floor of your upper deck? Yes, it is. And I don't think it matters. I hope it doesn't because um, the person that I saw build this, that I'm kind of modeling this off of, uh, they built it the same way as this and it didn't matter for them. So I'm thinking it won't matter for me. Hopefully not. If it does, I'm going to be in a bad spot. And there we go. All right, so that's a small indoor campfire. Okay, so can we, we make that bigger? Um, you know what? I don't know if I'm going to mess with the fire being bigger. Let, why, don't we, um, why don't we go ahead and set up some of the roof pieces? Where would we want our drying rack to go? Um, also, we need to decide where we are going to put our sails, because I would like some more sails on this thing. Um, so let's see. Uh, crafting, boat, uh, sail mast. Okay, so I should be able to put one right here. Um, let's make it snap it into place anywhere. Is that is that what I'm looking for? Hold on, let me try again. All right, crafting 
boats. Yeah, that's a sail mast. Okay. Oh, that's right. You got to craft it first. That is so weird to me that you craft this stuff first and then you put it on. Like, I'm just not used to that. It's just very... It's not like any game I've I played. I had the same problem with the door in the beginning of the series. So we'll just go ahead and put that in. Grab the hammer. And I'm going to put three more sails on this thing. All right, I should have another hammer somewhere. Uh, primitive hammer. Yeah, that one's broken. But it's still there. Can I still use it? Sometimes I can still use it. Yeah, when it breaks, you can kind of still use it, but then not really. So I think what I'm going to do is, it is getting dark. Let me um, let me finish this up off camera. I have another uh, hammer somewhere, and um, I usually like to make a couple hammers. And I will just drop this one. Went ahead and worked through the night, and it is almost morning. I've cleared out all of these uh, do collectors, and I put them back, and I'm just waiting for some food. Oh, there we go. Beautiful. All right, so um, land is what I've been is my lowest thing, so I figured I'd make some. Uh, what do you call it? Uh, cooked meat. I got this from the um, uh, from the crabs, and we're gonna go ahead and eat one of those. Okay, and C is looking low as well. I'm okay with C looking low because the the what you call it? So my drying rack are almost done. The fish, so that will not be a problem. I don't know why I picked that up. Let's just go ahead and drink, and we're looking pretty good. Vitamin C is not looking good. I do have some bananas. I'm gonna take you guys too. Once it gets a little brighter. Um, speaking of brightness, can I like use like candles and stuff or whatever and hang them on walls? I think I can. Um, but yeah, if you look right here, I got the drying rack in a, in a spot. <laughs> it's not exactly a great spot. Um, it's a little on a weird angle and I'm trying to get it exactly the way I want it. So it doesn't get in my way. Um, that seems pretty, pretty good. I'll probably just leave it there for now. And maybe I'll, I'll, mo I'll move it at a later, later date. And I put a roof over it too. So when it rains, I don't have to worry about it. And the dead salmon's almost done. The dry meat is looking good. Uh, we just got to load that thing up. In here, I went ahead and put my bed right there. Uh, as a matter of fact, let's get a little bit more daylight here so you guys can see properly. There we go. And so the fire's right there. I've got a chest right here. I'm not going to do anything with that just yet. And, oh, okay. So I broke out the ladder here because I'm going to build. A, I'm going to put the ladder somewhere else. And we're going to build up there. Uh, as a matter of fact, I'll, I don't really know where I'm going to put the ladder right now. We're going to be doing a little bit of rebuilding. Uh, the reason I couldn't put a ceiling piece here was because I didn't have um, a, a weak side beam frame. I thought I did, but apparently I didn't. So that kind of sucked. So what I'm going to do is we're going to go ahead and make that, and then we're going to put the ladder in a, separate, in a different place because um, the way I have it built, like the way I have it set up right now is very, very inefficient uh, in, with space. Um, I'm going to put the ladder in a, in a better spot. Uh, and then we'll be, able, we'll be, we'll have more, more room on the bottom and we'll also have more room up top. It's going to be a win-win. Okay. So let's go ahead and put that in there and we'll, we've got some wood up here and, uh, yeah, man, this, I'd like to be able to get off this Island after today's video, but we're going to have to see, we're going to have to see, I don't leave an Island lightly. <laughs> All right. And now we're going to see if we can put the thing up there and we should be able to now see it's still red. I'm um, not really sure why it's red. Oh, there we go. It's not red anymore. Beautiful. I worked my magic. All right, so we'll put that up there. Now I need to go grab some palm fronds. I think I have some lying around here somewhere. I don't know exactly where, though. Um, it's still a little dark, so I'm still having a hard time finding things. Let's go up here. I know there's some palm fronds over here, or there should be because I cut some off this tray. Uh, but this thing's in the way, so let's get that out of the way. Yep, there's some palm fronds. And right over here, there's going to be a banana tree. I'm not seeing it. It's around here somewhere. Let me see if I can find it. This is what I'm looking for. Bananas. Hell yeah. All right. So how much is, how much is this going to give me? Really? Only two vitamin C? Yeah, see, that that's a little weird because you, you, it's going to really screw up my food diversity to try and get my vitamin C up. But I feel like I should be getting my vitamin C up. So let's just go ahead and eat a bunch of this. Just completely screw my food diversity, but I'm going to, I'm actually going to go for a hundred percent because I don't think, um, I don't think fruits can go over 10. Although I could be wrong. They can. Never mind. See, how are you supposed to get up your food diversity like this? Yeah. You, I don't see how you're supposed to, I'm not sticking at 13, by the way. All right. Ooh, still 13. All right. I got to get that off 13. I'm superstitious. Will it go off 13? Eh, whatever. I guess we might as well get the vitamin C up to 100%. And 
There we go. Then we'll leave that. And I think those um I think those uh fish should be good to go. Like I said, I don't understand how you're supposed to keep your food diversity up and get vitamin C at the same time. Uh and I also don't know what food diversity at 10% is gonna do to me. Hopefully nothing, because it's kind of messed up. Uh let's see how our fish is doing. Alright, 99%. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna take a nap. And hopefully that fish will be done after my nap. Alright, fish. Let's see. Uh, ah, still 99%? I got 99%, but a fish ain't one. Well, actually, a fish is one. Ah, whatever. You get what I'm saying. Oh, what a pain in the butt. Alright, let me see if I can find some... <laughs> let's see if I can find palm fronds. Alright, the next thing we need to do is break apart the stuff on the inside. Losing a little bit of resources doing this, but that's okay. We're gonna have a lot more room in here, which is cool. Alright. And then I'm going to break this up as well. Now, let me make sure I could put a, a ladder. I'm pretty sure I could put a ladder here. Uh, going up that way. Oh, hold on. Uh, like that. Nope. Oh, can I not put a ladder there? Yep, there we go. That's what I wanted to do. All right, so now we've got the ladder there. We can break this out. And we'll put a proper wall up. This will stay a door. That'll be the door. That's pretty cool because the door is like, I don't want to put anything on this plot or this plot. And that's, those are going to be the doors. So that's why that's cool. All right. So um, now what do we want windows to be? I think this will be a window. Um, walls. Yeah, this will be a window right here. Okay. Is that where I want it? Hold on. Q. Yeah, definitely like that. And then that one will be a solid wall. So we're doing a little bit of rebuilding here, losing a little bit of resources doing it, but it's going to be better in the long run. Look at all that room. Look, look, at that, look at that extra room we got in here. That is... I don't know why I did that. That is freaking phenomenal. Hell yeah, it is. All right, let's clean some, some of this stuff up, get it in there. I'm going to check on my fish in a moment. Uh, yeah, I don't think I, there's anything I can do with those small sticks. I think I need, I think I need long sticks. There we go. And a long stick there, and a long stick here. Here, here, a long stick, there, a long... Ah, it doesn't work like that. It's too long. Too long, man. All right, so put that there. Put that there. And that is good for a repeat. Yeah, look at this. So much more room. Oh, this is great. Okay, Um, the next thing we need to do is I want to work on more sales, Okay. Um, damn it, I keep pressing Q. There must be some game where I press Q to put my put my weapon away. Anyway, I got the um, ladder. It's in a perfect spot. It's just a wonderful spot to have the ladder. And um, yeah, and we have so much more room in here. Much, much better build. All right, we got a lot of room in here, man. Um, so the I like where the drying rack is. Uh, I might I don't know if I could fit some more stuff on here. I mean, how much stuff do I really need on a drying rack? I'm thinking about maybe making another one and putting on the other side or maybe right next to it. I don't know, but that's that's for later. Why don't we come through? By the way, I did put um, the extra sail masts on here, and I'd prefer to have them done before we uh, go to another island because it's so slow. But uh, I don't know. Honestly, I don't know if we're going to be able to do that because I'm not sure what's left on this island. All right? I, do I want to be do I want to be cutting down banana trees? Right? It doesn't seem like a smart move. But where else am I going to get banana sales from? Now, this isn't even Banana Island. So the island right here is Banana Island. I could just go there for bananas. Yeah, you know what? I'm just going to do that. We'll go to there for bananas and we'll cut down the banana trees on this island. Okay, so we've got that. I'm just kind of looking around what we have over here. If there's a banana tree over here, that would be wonderful. Although I'm not seeing one. Uh, yeah, I went ahead and grabbed all of the uh, fish out of my fish trap. Fish trap is dope. I freaking love the fish trap. I will have a fish trap pretty much on every island. And between the fish traps and the crabs, I shouldn't have to worry about food. The only thing is going to be vitamin C, and that's where Banana Island comes into play. Now, I I'd imagine if I pick bananas, they're not going to last long, which is, you know, completely realistic because in real life, yeah, me and my wife try and buy bananas, like, and it's insane. Like, you've got about a day. You got a bad day. You better eat that whole thing of bananas in a day or you're screwed. Um, so, yeah. Not a big fan of that. Uh, axe goes there. Hammer goes there. Okay, there we go. All right, so where was that banana tree? Here we go. Yeah, I don't really love cutting down banana trees, but 
It is what it is. Oh, look, cool. There's one right on top of the other. I love it when that happens. It's a bug. I will graciously accept said bug. All right. Oh, can you like plant banana trees? I know you could. I know you could do farming in this game. I haven't even looked into it yet. And they're also going from cluster to cluster. I've been reading up on that. Uh, do I have this right? Is going from cluster to cluster going to take like days? Like someone said, like forty something days or something in game. That's like a multitude of hours. How does anyone even do that? I know you could wait, but it doesn't. Go, it doesn't go that quickly. Uh, the wait thing is kind of weird. So, um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know about the whole cluster thing. I don't have to worry about it right now, so it's not really that big of a deal, but it is something I will have to worry about eventually. All right. So how many am I going to need for this? Four. Damn it. These are the best. If you want the best, you got to you gotta make, you gotta be prepared to pay the ultimate price. Right? Like, like in freaking uh, Point Break. Yeah, these things go faster is what I'm trying to say. All right. And I won't finish it up just yet. Let's see how many more we can make. Um, there, I think there's quite a few banana, banana uh, trees on this island, which is nice. Okay, so I don't see one over there. I'm not seeing one here. I feel like I'm missing banana trees. If I am, let me know. I'll probably be gone from this island by the time you can tell me, but that's okay. All right, so nothing here, nothing there. I'm not seeing any over here. Oh, there's one. All right, I might as well just grab the banana leaves. Hey, if you take just the banana leaves, will the will they grow back? I don't think so, but it would kind of make sense, right? You don't kill a tree. But, well, I don't know. Maybe you do. I don't know. What do I know about banana trees? <laughs> yeah, I don't know anything about banana trees. But, yeah, it'd be pretty cool if they could grow back, if you could happen to just cut them off the top. One, two, three. And that's number four. Okay, a couple of long sticks will go really nice in there. Where's my long sticks at? One, two. Dude, if we can get one more, that's that's it. If we find one more banana tree, that'll be it for the sales. And that would be really nice. Let's see if you can find another one. All right, I got enough banana leaves and then some. I'm going to have a, a few left over, which is just phenomenal. Um, I've also got some, uh, some... I got a banana stem. I don't know if I can, like, maybe... Like, use that to plant more banana trees or something? I, I don't know. I have no freaking clue. What the hell do I know? This game is brand new to me, pretty much. All right, so let's go ahead. We got that. Put two in there. And let's go ahead and hammer these suckers and get them on the masts. Yeah, this is really cool. So this should help us go quite a bit faster. I'm, I'm saying, guys, uh, I usually, you know, I don't usually, like... I'm dead set on the next episode, all right? But I do have plans for future episodes of, you know, different games and everything. And I reserve the right to change my mind and something might come up. But as of I can see right now, I think we will be leaving this island uh, next episode. I don't, I don't see why it wouldn't be, but, you know, who knows? I'm not, I can't see the future. All right, so let's go ahead and grab this and put it on there. There we go. And again, I would think that the that the ceilings would get in the way, but the person I saw making this raft uh, had no problems with the with the masts, you know, being like where they are. Said it shouldn't be an issue, um, and I trust them, so we'll see. We shall see. Or who knows? Maybe I'm screwing something up, and you know, he's right, and I'm just gonna do it wrong, and they'll be screwed up anyway. Who knows? Who knows what the future holds? All right, gonna kind of come through here. Uh, go forward, please. I can't. All right. And there we go. And put it right there. Beautiful. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Awesome. Well, what's next on the old agenda? Oh, yeah. I remember. We got to go get some more boxes. There's some, uh, there's some more boxes out here I got to go grab. And uh, barrels. I don't really know if I need more than one barrel, though. Uh, barrels to hold water. And, um... I don't know. It doesn't really seem like a big deal to have more than one barrel because I'm never going to fill one up. I go I go through too much water. But who knows? I already have two barrels, so do I really need a third? I think I saw... Yeah. Well, it does have some water in it, so I might as well grab that. I picked a bunch of bananas, too, because I was like, eh, 
Why not? Maybe maybe the game's but maybe maybe he doesn't have his uh, bananas going, you know, bad yet in the game, and I can keep him forever. <laughs> I can hope, can I? All right. So it doesn't seem like there's anything else out here. So let me just grab this up and bring it back and see what else we can put on the raft. So I think the next order of business is to get as much of this ceiling done as I can. So let's go ahead and put down stuff where we can. Um, oh, damn it. Uh, ghost images should work with this, so I just got to remember to hold down shift. There we go. Here. And oh, there it is. I was like, what the hell is it doing all the way up there? I'm not sure why that's red. I'm not sure why that's red. Is there no things there? Maybe I didn't put any things there. What the hell is it? What? <laughs> there. 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 All right, you don't want to hold down shift, apparently. There. There. Now, I don't know if having them here is going to mess with the sails. I, I don't... I, I know it should. I don't think it's going to, though. And there we go. Man, it's going to be a lot of room up here. And then what I'm going to do up here is I'm going to make an, an, an like a, just a, a room. And I think I could put dew collectors up here or whatever I feel like doing. Uh, I think the next thing I want to do also is I want to be able to bring some wood with me. Uh, but for, for now, let's just kind of clear out what we have down here. Uh, is there any parts that I would like to build over any others? Yeah, you know what? I kind of want to build right here because I want to know if this is going to mess with the sails. Yeah, yeah, I think that'll I think that'll be a good idea. So let's grab that and put that right here. And this will probably be the only one I build on this side. We're almost out of palm fronds too. There's not a lot left on this island. I think once I use all the palm fronds, that's when we're gonna be uh, that's when we're gonna be moving on. Okay, I would also uh, also I need to repair stuff. Uh, wait, craft. Craft what? Craft the weak side beam? There's a weak side beam here. Uh, let's destroy it, but I'm going to save the game first, just in case it screws something up. All right, there we go. All right, so yeah, don't forget, you got to repair the roofs. What else? I got to repair the walls. Um, the floors. So you got to keep an eye on that stuff. There is stuff you have to repair. Um, you don't have to repair the railings, it doesn't seem. So that's good. Uh, it doesn't seem like you have to repair the masts either. All right, so I do want to be able to move wood around. So let's see what kind of wood storage we have. I think there's only one kind of wood storage that I can tell. All right. I'm just looking through here. I don't see any other kind of wood storage. There's benches, chairs, tables. Um, oh, plant box. Grow up to four plants. It can be moved. Be placed only on ground. Oh. Compost is for generating soil. Uh, it cannot be moved and can only be placed on ground. Wait, you can't you can't have plant boxes on your rafts? Ah, that's bullshit. Unless I'm missing something. Oh, so that's a small plant box. Okay, you just can't make the big ones. All right, so there's a trunk holder. So the only way I see to hold wood is the trunk holder. Okay. And that could definitely be outside. So let's see how we want to do this. I'm not sure. Oh, wait, can you not put it on? Oh, uh, just like everything else, you have to... I'm pretty sure you could put it on your raft. I think I've seen them on the raft. Um, thick branches. Uh, trunk holder organized and holding all sorts of trunks. Thick branches. Oh, it can hold everything. It can be attached to your raft. Oh, okay, cool. All right, so let's come out here and make it. You know, I was just thinking I'm going to go strap this in. Let's see if we can put stuff in it before we strap it in. Uh, put. Oh, are they still, like, loose? No, they're not loose. They just look like they're loose, but they're not. Now, would there be any reason to put anything rather than trunks in there? Man, I got a lot of trunks. How many can it hold? Oh, can't... No more? Really? It can only hold three wood trunks? Can it hold the other stuff with the wood trunks? Can it hold some uh, long sticks? Really? Three trunks, right? Really? That's all it can hold. Uh, am I missing something? Let me know in the comments if I'm missing something. I'm going to try and put more thick branches in there. Yeah, that's <laughs> that's not a lot. Nope, can't hold anymore. All right. Maybe I'm missing something, but I don't know. Right, let's go ahead and save the game. And let's try and put this thing inside. Oh, I can't move it. At least I don't think I can. Can I move it with the... If I had this out? 
No. Yeah, you can't move with anything in it. Okay, I guess that makes sense. How the hell are you going to carry that around? Well, that stuff in there. All right, we're going to need more than one of these then. That's for damn sure. So I'm going to see if I can throw this just on top and kind of deal with it from there. Yeah, that works. Let's come in here. Look at all these fish. I'm going to grab one of these. And eat. 30% diversity, baby. I need to go get some uh, regular meat as well. The meat takes forever to dry. Okay. Um, where am I going to put this thing? Oh, boy. It's pretty freaking big, dude. Actually, you know, once the roof's on there, I'm not going to be able to... I'm not going to be able to bring anything in like that. Can I um, rotate it in another, in another way? No, I can't. Yeah, it's a pain in the ass. I, I wish you could just build this stuff inside. Yeah, once the roof's on, this is going to be a pain. Come on. Work with me. I'm going to do this with you guys a couple, once or twice, depending on what items I'm using. And then I will do it off camera after that. Because this is... This is painful. Yeah, there's no way to get that on there. Well, I mean, since I don't have a roof, I can get it on there. But once I have a roof, I, I there's no way. Okay, you know what I'm going to do? We're going to take this out. We don't need all these railings here. And it's going to be impossible to get stuff on here. Maybe once I've got the raft completely 100% set up the way I want, I'll replace the railings. But right now, it's just uh, it's causing me real problems. There we go. All right, now this should be a little bit easier. Just kind of slide that in. Why is it off to the side? Okay, so just slide it in and then turn it. Yeah, this is, ugh. Oh, this is terrible. This is just terrible. <laughs> and I won't be able to tie it onto the roof, so I got to get it in here somehow. Jeez, what a pain. Um, you know what? These are pretty cheap. I could just remake them. I mean, seriously, they are really cheap. So, it's, it, you know, just consider it cost of doing business, right? All right, so now i got to get this out of here. All right, and then we'll bring it around to the back. Get the freaking tree out of my way. Put that away. Pick this back up. Oh, my God, seriously. Uh, okay, there we go. All right, and you just put it in this way. Yeah, that that should work. That should work. He's kind of yep. There we go. All right, and then that's so much for two drying racks. Maybe I should put this on the other side. This takes a lot of room for three freaking logs. Oh my god! <laughs> I won't show this again. Like me putting this in. I just want you to see the hardship, the pain that I have to go through just once. And after this one, I will never show this to you guys again. But you need to know it's there. So when you're struggling through it, you're like, Cage, what the hell? How'd you deal with this? And I'll be like, not easy, bro. It's not easy. All right, come up. Okay. If you press left mouse button, that's what straightens it out. So I think what I'll do is I'll just put this on this side. I want to leave that side open for a second drying rack. I mean, it takes so long for stuff to dry that I think having a second drying rack might be a good idea. And if not, I'll put something else over there. Okay. There we go. And we just kind of line that up on this side. All right. Kind of wish the, um, the rotation thing was a little bit more sensitive. You know, like not, it wouldn't go as far. A little bit more control would be nice. Okay, there we go. Is that good? It doesn't quite look lined up perfectly, but I can get by it, and that's all that really matters, I guess. So I messed around with it a little bit more and got it a little bit more to my liking. I can get by it. It's pretty lined up. Pretty good. I, I don't think I'm going to put anything else behind it. I don't know what else I would bring on board, to be honest. I've got my campfire here. I've got my bed over here. I'm going to have storage over here. I can put more storage back here. Uh, the only thing I could think of is maybe putting a drying rack inside of here. I, I don't really see the need for that. Um, the drying rack's in a pretty decent spot where it is. I can get by it really easy. I like it that it's out in the, out in the wind. 
I think that makes sense. And um, yeah, and then up here, like I said, we'll make some kind of enclosed thing up here and maybe carry something around like palm fronds or, or you know, some kind of, um, I don't know, something. Like uh, the dew catchers or something like that. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this barrel of water and we're going to put this inside. You want this out of the sun. Very important to keep your water, you know, lasting. And I think we'll just put that right here, I guess. I don't know. Seems like a pretty good spot for it. All right. And then we're going to lash this stuff down. Lashed. Lashed. And lashed. Now we have enough stuff to lash. One more thing down. I think I probably have another uh, chest out here that I want to bring with me. Uh, these chests are pretty cool. Uh, and I probably should bring some of these. But the thing is, I like the wooden chest because they're they're actually, they take up less space. Now this thing holds 20 weight and those wooden chests hold 20 weight. But the wooden chests only hold like 132 volume where this thing has a lot more volume. So um, I should definitely bring those with me for sure. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. What else? Um, I think that's just about it. Yeah, see this banana stem? I want to bring this with me. And it has a, a weight, a volume of 150. I can't put this in those wooden chests no matter what I do. So. All right. You know what? I think we're going to call this one here. Uh, next episode, I would like to continue getting all the palm fronds off this island. Um, and get whatever I can of the roof done. And then I'm probably going to... I'm probably going to replace the fence, long stick, small stick. Yeah, why not? I'm going to replace the, um, I'm going to replace the, uh, the railing back here. I'll probably leave this one alone, but I like the railings in the back. So I don't slide off the back. So I'll replace this railing. I'll, I'll replace this railing. I'll get the rest of the palm fronds into the roof pieces. And I think we're going to go check out another island. If you guys ended up enjoying the video, please remember to uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. And until then, take it easy.